Today is the one year anniversary of the Tennessee Valley Unitarian Universalist Church shooting. Uh, I was there. At approximately 10, 18 a.m. this morning, uh, we received a call of shots fired here at the church. Suddenly a gunshot went off. I said, let's hit the ground. Let's get under the pews. I'm sorry to report that at least nine people uh, were injured during the course of this incident. One has passed away. We have been touched by a horrible act of violence. We're in a process of healing. We ask everyone for your prayers. Here was a trauma that was you know, very close to our family. After the church shooting, most people sent sympathy. But this one friend in Idaho said, when you're past your frustration and your own anger, she says, tell me what you've done. What, what are you planning to do? And it was such a challenge to me. It was like, wow, I can't just sit here and be miserable. I can't sit here and just be a victim. As a result, I decided that we would have a, a group that met from different churches across the town. I thought about Not In Our Town. Um, I had seen the film, Not In Our Town, and had workshopped it with teachers. We have some challenges, and if we can see other people working through those, I think that's quite helpful to a, a community that's just entered into a crisis period. What would you do if you loved the place where you live, but things were changing quickly, and you saw the fabric of town life unraveling? If neighbors you used to wave to suddenly became enemies? Both Not In Our Town and the Fire Next Time film work to stimulate conversation. There was a line uh, in when we were watching that that came um, that really kind of hit me, and it says, where is the border between anger and hate? And one of, one of the lines that got me was, um, was when they said, uh, people fear, when you fear for your personal safety in public arenas, there's less public participation. Mm -hmm. That's a direct attack on uh, democracy when that happens. Not in our town. They sent me wonderful materials to work through, the workshop kind of approach. Um, certainly was useful. I didn't have to invent it. We always had homework. We listened to shock radio. We looked at blogs. It was an education as well as a way for us to vent and uh, figure out strategies. Because, I mean, these people truly had no use for each other, but after hammering it out, they had a tremendous respect for each other, which I'm sure still endures. You know, sometimes I think that you feel uh, personally attacked. You know, why me? Uh, why this town? Why this church? That I was quite excited to see the, the positive spirit moving forward. Everybody ready to be spokespeople for this? We'll mm -hmm. double the size of our group, double it again. More communities are alike rather than different. So I think the more case studies like this that we can see and resonate with, it, it gives us hope that there's something that we can do.